Hey you guys, welcome back to Zindi. I know it's been way, way, way too long. Um, so we're gonna do a video today. All right, so you've probably heard many people talk about reverse weeding, okay? And you're probably thinking, what the heck is that and how can it help me? Okay, so basically reverse weeding, I'm gonna show you how to do it, but it's very, very good to you, to weed things that are very intricate or detailed. Um, Cause a lot of times when you're weeding normally and you go to pull your vinyl back, all those little details, the dots of the eyes, um, letters, that kind of stuff, just wanna come right along with that transfer tape. So this is just another way to do it that makes it a little, a little easy for things that are super super um, detailed or delicate. Okay, so for this one, I already went ahead and cut, I cut a sunflower and then I cut this one, which is the, I will put you in a trunk and help people look for you acrylic. Um, let me get this light pad so you can kind of see the cut lines better. If you don't have a light pad, they're super amazing for weeding because it just shows those cut lines so much easier. So when you turn it on, now you can see those cut lines just a little bit easier. Um, and down here. Okay, so let's go ahead and apply our transfer tape and I'll show you how to actually do reverse weeding. Okay, so to save this extra vinyl, I don't want to ruin that. So we're gonna cut that off and use that for another day. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut these two decals apart. All right, so we have our sunflower and then we have our words for the trunk one. Okay, so after you cut your vinyl, you're gonna get your transfer tape. Roll some out. This is uh, our Style Tech transfer tape that's available on the website. And then we're just gonna put our whole decal with the backing and everything face down onto our transfer tape, okay? Cut that off. All right, we're gonna turn this over. And we're gonna get our squeegee. If you don't have a squeegee, you need one. It's definitely a staple for vinyl, crafting, all of that. So we're gonna take our squeegee and we're just gonna burnish it super, super well. And yes, you can use something like a credit card or anything like that, but this is a lot more durable than a credit card and you can really get all those details to stick to your transfer tape much, much easier, much, much better. So we're just gonna burnish it really well and then we're gonna take this corner and we're gonna just go over all of it, okay? Especially if you have like lots of letter I's or super detailed things, this really just helps it stick to the transfer tape all the way. Super helpful with letters, all of that stuff. And normally the times you'll be using reverse weeding is when you have super detailed things. So doing that little corner thing really, really helps. All right, from here, we're gonna turn it over. I'm gonna go ahead and separate these. We're gonna pull this backing paper off and you wanna save your backing paper in case you're not wanting to use your decal right away. So we're just gonna save that backing paper. Okay, from here, we're gonna take our weeding tool and we're gonna go ahead and remove the parts of the vinyl we do not want, okay? Just be careful, because a lot of times, like I said, you'll be using this method for really detailed, detailed cuts. So you just wanna make sure everything's staying where it needs to go, okay? Super easy. So that sunflower is now weeded and ready to go. We're gonna put it back on our backing paper for now for one, for until we're ready to use it. Um, also, very important tip. Anytime you're cutting a sunflower in your software, add something on the top of your sunflower. It can be a circle, it can be a square, it could be anything. Just some kind of little mark so that whenever you're done and you're your sunflower is weeded, you know where the top of the sunflower is. If you don't have that little mark, it's super easy to forget what the top of the sunflower is and trying to match this to your acrylic with no reference can be very difficult. Now, because I have this circle right here and I know this is the top of my sunflower, I know this will either fit this way or this way. So we basically have two options rather than 3,742 options. Okay, so there's that one. And let's go ahead and reverse weed this one too, because this one's a little more detailed in a different way. Okay, so we're gonna take our backing paper. We're gonna save that. All right, we're gonna take our weeding tool. Go 
and we're going to pull this off. Okay, and before you crumple the part you, you took off, just double check it. Make sure there's no little details hiding on it. It's just a good habit to be in. And this tried to come up, but the transfer tape held it back, so that's good. All right, so I got the little dots and all the middles of the letters out. And that is done. So we're gonna put it back on our backing paper. Oh, I forgot one little piece. All right, so we're gonna put it back on our backing paper. All right, so now we have our two decals weeded and ready to go. Done by reverse weeding. Super easy, so I hope that helps you guys. Um, from here, our decals are ready to apply. Um, and then also let me show you one more thing that this light box, I mean this uh, light pad does that makes it a little bit easier too. So we're gonna turn that on. Whenever you're trying to line up acrylics, this can make it a lot easier to see your acrylics behind it. So we know it's either gonna go this way, which actually is correct. Or if that wasn't right, we would turn it over and see if it goes this way which that is not correct. As you can see, it's not lining up properly. All right, so the light tablet, super easy. Reverse weeding, super easy. If you find yourself um, like cutting something like this and all your letters are coming up, that's more to do with your, your cut setting. So it could be that it's too much pressure. It could be that it's going too fast. Um, or it could be that your blade is super old. A lot of times people forget to replace that blade um, and so, especially if you're cutting like glitters or metallics or anything like that, blades can dull really quickly when cutting that kind of material. So if you find like you're cutting something that you used to always be able to cut or things are just not working, change that blade. It will make a world of difference. It's not worth fighting with it. Um, to not change your, you know, check with your settings and check with your blade. Also, cheaper vinyl will be a lot harder to weed than a higher end quality vinyl. Um, so I hope that helps you guys and I will see y'all next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We're gonna get back into this YouTube video making thing. So y'all have a great day and I will see y'all next time. Bye.